Okay, this is my first aquaponic system. Just quickly explain what's going on. Very first. Everything's just cycling right now. We've jumped, we've done a little bit because of, we put plants in already. We're cycling on pure ammonium with no fish. So we get, I'm just putting a couple of pure ammonium capsules a day and it's um, cycling the system. Because the, the first bac good bacteria is forming because it loves ammonia. All right, I'll get further into the other stuff in a minute. This is the fish tank. And this basically is coming from the sump, which I'll show you in a minute. It's, that's pressurised water coming from the sump tank. It's filling up this, the, the fish tank. There's no fish in there right now. And this pipe here, this is a T. This goes all the way down to the bottom with a couple of holes in it. So what should be happening is, um, or what will happen hopefully when I get fish in there, it's coming up from the bottom, it should be dragging the fish poop and solids up through here. And then it's going to come along this pipe here. This is the outlet. This is a big pipe, so I've got plenty of water being able to come in here. And then I've reduced it, so this pipe can be as full as possible. Here, uh, this is one of the outlets. It's just a hole drilled in, in this pipe here. This is allowing this water to come out and create a little bit of a splash giving me oxygen into the grow bed. This grow bed is lava rock and this is a flood and drain system. This is the suck, uh, the bell siphon which I made which I'll tell you all about later on and actually it's going to siphon in a couple of minutes so we'll quickly come back to this when it starts siphoning I'll show you. You can see how the water level is coming up Right, we may as well wait for a couple of seconds. The water level's coming up, and inside here, inside here, there's another tube which is basically an overflow. The water goes in, here it goes. This is the siphon. It drags all the air out, so there's a vacuum in there now. And watch how quick this, this um, drains down. Now, if you look here, come to the sump quickly. See all that water flying out of there? Now this is like gushing air in, into the uh, system. I've also put this pipe on, like a Venturi type thing. And uh, the pipe is here, and it's like an aircraft wing. As this pipe is full, as it goes around the pipe, causes a vacuum which drags air from here and puts more oxygen into the system. And then it goes back to the fish tank again. Okay, going further back from here, that's the bell side. I'll let you see it finish now. Just watch this a minute. Now it's going to automatically stop. Once, once it reaches to the bottom, which has got two cuts in it of the centre pipe there, it, it starts to draw air and it, it cuts the side from it. So that's going to stop any second now. And it'll, you'll hear it give it a little gurgle if you listen carefully. Here we go. Slowing down, slowing down. There we go. Little gurgle. Hang on a minute, come on. There you go. I don't know whether you heard that gurgle, but that's the end of the siphon now. Now that stops. So if you come back to the grow bed, this has been completely drained down to about an inch, about one inch from the bottom. This allows oxygen to get around the roots of these plants. That's going to come up. The plants are going, the, the roots are going to absorb the um, all the nutrients out of the water, and then it's going to do the cycle again. It's going to siphon back down giving the roots oxygen. So it's, uh, the roots are absorbing oxygen and, and nutrients. That's, okay, now further along the line, I put another hole in here. This is basically just to give me more oxygen at this side with the, with the splash. 
um, just to oxygenate the water. Now further along, this is an overflow system, how I've done it. I think it's the best way, using gravity. Now this is constantly splashing, this is constantly full, this is your floating bed. In here you have all your plant pots, and you have your roots, just sitting in the water constantly. Now the lettuce and all your leafy plants can go in this floating bed system, so they love to be staying water. We're trying an onion out, we don't know how it's going to work out, we're just going to try that. This is lettuce, this is, what's this? Basil. Basil. Iceberg. That? Iceberg lettuce. What's this? Cilantro. That's cilantro. So we're just trying it out. And this will never go down. This is just basically pouring into here, and coming out of this pipe here, which I, regu I can regulate from this, the outlet. Now this flow has got to equal this flow to keep this bed constant. I've got a, uh, just so it doesn't overflow, if I ever get this wrong, this, I've got a little overflow pipe here, just so that this can't come over. And coming up from here is another tube. It comes up to about three inches from below here, so it'll overflow from there. So if it goes below that point, it can't all drain out either. So that these, if, if the pump goes down, this is always, um, the roots are always immersed in water. Okay, and that's about it.